Hey everyone. So um, today's video is going to be a haul video and I haven't done a haul in like forever. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd do a little quick haul video. Um, so if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you probably know that I was in Bali recently, like last week for like five days. So I picked up like a few bits over there and then I actually got some stuff online before I went over and yeah. Um, it's not an it's not a major crazy haul or anything, um, it's pretty small but I just thought I'd show it anyway so um, oh and if you're wondering um, about my makeup in this video I actually just um, filmed a tutorial for this look um, I'll just come closer so yeah it's really pretty and um, it's like Demi Lovato inspired um, so yeah if you want to see this video I'll have my if you want to see this tutorial I'll have that up in a few days after this haul video, so yeah. Um, or maybe I'll upload, I don't know, but either way, uh, it'll be on my channel soon. Um, so make sure you check it out. I love Demi Lovato, I'm like obsessed with her, and yeah. So anyway, let's get into this haul. So the first place, um, first things I'm going to show you is like my beauty products, I suppose. Um, I didn't get a crazy amount of stuff, so don't expect a crazy haul. Um, I actually went to Etude House in Bali, and the bag is so cute. It's like vanity and mascara, and I don't know if you can see, but it's the cutest bag ever. So in there, I just got um, this face mask set. So it's actually yogurt based, um, and it's actually in like, oh no, it's not. So it's like yogurt, apple, raspberry, kiwi, and apricot. Um, extracts. So basically you just put it on your face for 10 minutes and then wash it off. So there's four different types, four different flavours. And um, this was $10. And um, yeah, so I just thought I'd try that out. So it's pretty cute. And um, so before I went, I actually was in Priceline, I think. And I saw the Maybelline Baby Lips. And I know a lot of people talk about this on YouTube. So I just thought I'd pick one up. And I was looking for like the fruit salad one because of fruit punch, I can't remember, but it's supposed to be like the best one, but they hadn't got it of course. So I just picked up the mango pie, um, and it's like totally sheer, it's no colour to it at all, but it's nice, it's really moisturising, so I just um, picked that up before I went. Um, and then the next thing I picked up, which was the Revlon Colour Stay, and this is for normal to dry skin, and I'm in the shade 110, which is ivory. Um, and I literally just picked this up because it was only $12, which is crazy because over here in Australia, everything's so overpriced. So even for this in Australia, it's $35, which is ridiculous. Like seriously, it's probably was 27 euro. For like a drugstore foundation, it's crazy. So I just thought I'd get one of them. And they were actually doing like a deal, three, three for $30, which I'm really sad I didn't, do, didn't get. But I was like, I'm not going to use tree foundation, so I just picked up the one. So, yeah, I just thought this would be good to have. And, oops, that's on fall. So then I went to Makeup Forever, and this was my first Makeup Forever purchase ever. And they gave me a little cute bag, which was, which was nice. And so the first thing I got was the HD um, foundation. And my shade is in 115, which is ivory. I'm really sure it's ivory. Um, so it just looks like this and I actually wear this today as my foundation so um, so far so good I really like this um, so I'll let you know how I get on maybe I'll do a little foundation update foundation routine video so you can see how I apply it um, and then the last thing I got for Makeup Forever was this Aqua Aqualine <laughs> Aqua Eyes oh my god I'm totally gone blank Aqua Eyes Eyeliner um, so this is a waterproof eyeliner pencil and it's in the shade 2L um, which is like a brown but there's like a hint of shimmer to it. Um, I've been wearing this a lot since I came back a few days ago so um, I'm really liking it so far. Um, it doesn't really stay on the waterline um, as much as like Max Moller would um, so I was a bit disappointed on the stay on the waterline but it actually stays really nicely above your on your lid like um, if you just smudge it into your lash line it stays really nicely there so um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know how I go with this as well. So that's the little beauty products, I suppose. And then the next little random thing I got was this um, phone case. I got this over in Australia, not Bali, by the way. So it's just a really cute teddy bear. And I actually wanted a brown one, but they only had yellow left. So 
I just got the yellow one, I just think she's so cute. So, yeah. So I just thought I'd show that on the video. Um, so, now for clothes. So, the first thing, I, I got the this in Bali as well. So, um, they actually had a Stradivarius shop. So, I got these um, navy jeggings. Um, I really like the Stradivarius label on the back. So, they're just like plain like denim jeggings, but they're really soft um, and they're skinny. Um, so, I really like them. And these were $32, um, which is pretty good for a pair of like jeans. They're really soft. So, I think the bow is super cute on them as well. And these are size. 10 if you're wondering and um, so that was them I really like how they fit and they actually had really cute like baggy and um, jumpers which kind of was like dipped hem kind of jumper and really cute with like pearls like but they weren't like tacky pearls really cute pearls but they actually hadn't got any smalls left um, and the medium was just way too baggy so um, yeah I was really sad about that so maybe I'll try and order it online or something and um, I don't even know if Stradivarius shipped to Australia but I don't know I'll check it out and so the next thing I got was in, from Topshop and I got this like black basic like peplum skirt it's like kind of high waisted but not like extremely high waisted so um, it just looks like this you've probably seen these a million times and um, I just thought it was a good basic to have in my wardrobe and I actually wore this over in Bali when I was there um, and this is also size 10 um, I was very disappointed in the Topshop over in Indonesia like in Bali because um, we don't have a top shop in Perth where I live in Australia, so I was like really excited to go over and yeah, I was really disappointed. So that's all I got, just the one thing. I tried on probably like 10 different things, but then I was like, oh, it's so like overpriced for what they are. Like there was a really cute like pink smiley face jumper and it was like $60, but the quality of it was just like, it was really itchy when it was on, so the wool wasn't like great or anything. So yeah, I was a bit disappointed, so I don't know, what can you do? And um, so then the next thing I got in Bali, I'll show you these these two last things I got from Bali, then the rest of it I just got over here. So I got um I went into this really cute like vintage store. Um I'll show you the bag actually. I went into this really cute vintage store in Bali and the bag was so cute. It was like it's called Ever After. And um, so this is like the bag. I just thought it was really cute. And that's the other side of it. It's like saving the planet one thread at a time. So they're actually real authentic vintage pieces, like recycled and all that jazz, but not all of them is like vintage, like you know, they probably have like a vintage pocket or the front of it will be vintage and the rest of it isn't like so I just picked up two like sweater jumper kind of things um which I thought was really cute and the first these are just for like lounging around the house so the first one is this like grey and navy like wolf like tribal kind of print I don't know it just kind of reminded me like of Jacob from Twilight so I was like oh my god it's a wolf pack from Twilight I have to get it so um this is in these are all size 10 as well um so yeah I really like this and um, it just has on location at the back and it has all these really cute paw prints and it's actually coming into Australia's summer soon and um, well it's spring now at the minute so I probably won't get too much wear of these but um, I just thought they were cute anyway so yeah that was the first one and then I got the second one I just got two of them while I was there because there's really cute vintage dresses but their colours were way too high and I don't know it just looked weird on me because my boobs kind of just get in the way so yeah, they're really cute like vintage dresses, but I just got the hoodie of the jumpers instead. So this is a similar style to the first one except it's grey and white and it has um Pocahontas, um what's the guy's name from Pocahontas? I can't remember. I was trying to remember on the plane, but yeah, I can't really remember but so yeah, he's just on the front of it. I just thought it was really cute for like lounging around. So the front part of these is our vintage but the actual sleeves and all that isn't apparently so the girl told me so that was that and then I ordered some stuff online before I went and I actually got like a wild fox jumper um the brand wild fox couture I, you've probably heard of it because it's really popular with like celebrities and stuff so I just picked out a really cute jumper because I was like just browsing online I was like oh my god I need that so it's just really cute like cream 
forgot how my camera just got off. So it's this really cute like beach jumper. It's cream and it has these gorgeous metallic lipsticks on the front of it. And I'm totally obsessed. Um, the Wild Fox jumpers are pretty big so if you're small I'd say get an extra small or a small because this is a small and it's pretty baggy like it's just a nice fit. So um, yeah I'm excited to wear that. I haven't worn that yet. But I um, absolutely love it um, and it's really light material which is perfect for like Australian weather and stuff so hence the reason they're called beach jumpers I suppose, beach baggy jumpers. And um, so that was that and then the next thing I got is actually another Wild Fox um, couture item and this is actually a present from one of my friends and she always like slags me about, because she's Australian, she always like slags me about being really pale. Um, because obviously I'm Irish and yeah so she got me this, she saw this and she says oh my god it's so, so you so it's like I need a tan and it has like a love heart on it and it's black and I actually wore this going over on the plane um, which I posted a picture on Instagram um, so yeah this is a small as well but this is actually seems bigger than the jumper so I don't know but um, it's still really cute it's nice like with leggings and stuff so that was that and then the last thing, sadly, I got um, in a shop called Tempt over in Perth before I went to Bali, and I never even ended up bringing it to Bali with me. So, oh, excuse me. Um, so, yeah, so it's just this really cute um, denim polka dot crop vest, I suppose you blouse thingy. Um, um, so, it's really nice and cropped. So, I actually did, didn't wear this yet, so I think it'd be nice with like a a maxi skirt or something and like a brown waist belt but yeah I just thought it was cute so yeah that's basically my haul video I told you it was pretty quick but I probably like babbled on for ages so I'm sorry and um, so yeah if you want to see um, the tutorial on this makeup look make sure you check out my other videos and um, so I'll have that tutorial up soon or if not before this video I don't know kind of all over the place at the minute but um, yeah, I really hope you have a nice day and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.